What's up guys? Uh, in this video we are basically going to show you how to get rid of the annoying pop-up which comes in whenever you buy Adobe Photoshop. I recently downloaded uh, Photoshop which is 2024 and uh, the thing is that I want to show you if you go into help menu and you see that the updates are of course grayed out. Now that's going to be normal but still you will get a lot of problems that you know you, from time to time there'll be this pop-up that you need to register and buy Adobe Photoshop. The number one thing which you need to go is if you click Launchpad you have to look at the Creative Content Manager. So this Creative uh, Manager or the Creative anything got to do with Adobe Creative you need to get it removed. If you go into Finder and you click on your name and then you press sh command shift and full stop that should give you the hidden files so it's command shift and full stop from here click on library and under library under library you should have adobe or application support so in application support if you look we've got adobe over here and adobe i've got two versions now because I've got two versions, the reason is because I had 2021 installed previously and then I had 2024 installed. So I can just delete the 2021 because I don't need that. And apart from that, it has creative cloud libraries. Now, you don't have to completely delete creative cloud libraries, but anything which you find in creative cloud, for suppose, I will just type in creative cloud so anything which is related to creative cloud on this mac if you uh, creative cloud so anything which is related to creative cloud you can go ahead and you can delete it right um, i wouldn't suggest you to remove the js files but for example you have this creative cloud um, folder and then you have this other red folder right uh, these need to be removed now the problem is that on the top whenever you install f uh, Photoshop a cracked version creative, creative Cloud usually comes on the top over here and that is the problem that it starts syncing and then it syncs the information for some reason gets some files from probably from Adobe or if you sign it and, and even if you don't sign in, it still it'll basically it'll play up. And then after a month or so, you'll start getting these pop-ups. Now, if I were to basically uh, go into a column view, and if, say for example, and view sort by kind, so I can see over here, you, you know, you, you can see that there is Adobe Creative Cloud and this is the uninstalled so uh, we can go ahead and we can simply remove that then we have creative cloud ACC so this folder I have tried to remove it previously and everything stops working like Photoshop stops stops working so leave this this folder alone but the red folder you can delete it then you have the creative cloud desktop app uh, you can go ahead and you can delete that as well and it'll ask you to put in your password and then you just delete that and then you have creative cloud content manager some of the applications won't really be deleted and some will be now ccx process is again creative, creative cloud content manager this would again give problems now i am going to just quit photoshop and just show you guys by opening it again that even if I open it, it opens up perfectly fine. There is no issue. And I can go ahead, click New and Default Photo, uh, Photoshop Size, click Create, and everything works fine, right? There's no issue. Now, let me just quit this. And over here, we have these uh, sort of uh, folders. But I'm guessing you have to take a step-by-step -step approach because the last time when I removed everything so literally uh, the photoshop the application stopped working and that's what you really don't want to do so the thing is that if you were to 
you know, keep your program, your Photoshop as it is, and it should open. Then you just need to go step by step through these um, through these applications. With this application or any application over here, the best way to remove it is that if you have um, Clean My Mac and if you go into Uninstaller and over here, let's go ahead and type Adobe. So yeah, so here we go. You have all these Core Sync and you've got Creative Cloud Content Manager. So we can we can delete these, but as I said, I I tried to delete it, and then there were a lot of problems. Like Adobe was not the Photoshop was not opening, so because it's not giving me any problems, I'm going to leave this these two applications. All right, guys, uh, this was my quick video for how to get rid of this annoying registration page from Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And do subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in my next video. Bye for now.